You're going to need to remove the engine covers and any aftermarket air induction system. It's also a good idea to label and remove your EVAP lines at this time to give you more room to work. For additional assistance with those tasks, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. You'll need to remove the charged air pipe. The charged air pipe and hoses run from the induction system and divert air before it reaches the throttle body, red arrow. This charged air runs through a pipe that is secured by an 8mm bolt, blue arrow, and a T30 torque, green arrow, and enters the interior by quick release fitting, yellow arrow. Please follow the link for additional assistance with this task. Clean around the cap of the fluid reservoir and remove it. Using a fluid pump or turkey baster, get as much of the old fluid out as you can. This prevents excessive spillage of brake fluid inside the engine compartment. It's also helpful to stuff a bunch of old rags and paper towels under the master cylinder and ABS unit to absorb any spills. The ABS unit is hidden behind the engine and lines, red arrows. I removed a lot of things for photographic purposes, but you should be able to reach in and access everything. The wiring harness for the ABS module is attached to it on the side by the firewall. Pull up on the module connector, red arrow. This will separate the connector from the module and allow you to remove it from the unit. Pull the connector, yellow arrow, straight away from the unit. Clean the top of the ABS unit and use an 11 mm flared wrench to remove the two supply lines, red arrows, from the master cylinder. Make sure to cap the lines and unit to keep anything from getting in them. Use an 11 mm flared nut wrench to remove the four lines, red arrows, coming out of the ABS module. Again, make sure to cap the lines and unit to keep everything clean. With the lines removed, lift up the unit and out of the rubber mounts and take it to your workbench. Use a T25 torque to remove the two screws that hold the hydraulic unit to the module, red arrows. These screws are single use only and should always be replaced. Now you can separate the hydraulic unit from the control module. If you are covering the hydraulic unit, make sure to cover it with plastic and not a cloth or rag. Fibers from a rag can affect the performance of the unit. Installation is the reverse of removal. Make sure to clean up the area under and around the ABS module of any spilled brake fluid before beginning reinstallation. You will now need to completely bleed the brake system and have a scan tool ready to put it in bleed mode for the ABS system. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.